I'm Andrew Wooster, and I'm the product manager for the American Innovations Bullhorn Remote Monitor Units. Today, I'll be demonstrating the installation and configuration of the RM5 Remote Monitor System using Bullhorn Tools. Bullhorn Tools is the mobile app used to install, configure, and query device information for your Bullhorn Remote Monitor Units. Version 3.0 of Bullhorn Tools introduces support for the RM5 cellular and RM5 satellite versions of the RM5 system. Bullhorn tools can be downloaded from the Google Play Store for our Mesa 3 rugged tablet, from the Apple App Store for an iPad, or you may download it onto a smartphone of your choice that runs either the Android or iOS operating systems. To configure or query information from your RM5 system, you must first enable Bluetooth communication. To enable Bluetooth communication, take a magnet and swipe on the right-hand side of the I.O. module. You'll notice the blinking blue light to indicate that it is communicating and broadcasting over Bluetooth. Now that Bluetooth communication is enabled on your RM5 system, you can use the Bullhorn Tools app running on a tablet or smartphone to access and configure the device. In this demonstration, I'm using an Apple iPad. From the home screen, launch the Bullhorn Tools app. Your RM5 system should populate in the search window as shown. Select your system and press OK to connect to it. Upon connecting to your RM5 system, the first screen shown is the info screen. This screen provides vital information about your RM5 system, such as the DOME serial number, DOME firmware revision, RSSI, which is also an indication of signal strength for either cellular or satellite connection, the I.O. module serial number, the I.O. module firmware revision, and also latitude and longitude of the GPS coordinates where the system is located. From this screen, you can email our technical support directly, or you can perform a factory reset of your unit. The factory reset function sets all configurations and settings to their factory defaults. Now we will walk through all of the other functions of the Bullhorn Tools app. To select the other functions in the app, press the menu button in the top left-hand corner of the screen. The menu button looks like three horizontal lines stacked on top of one another. The first page we will view is the readings page. Press this item in the menu. As the readings page populates, all configured channels are queried for their measurements. In our case, channels 1 and 2 are configured for DC measurement, and their measurements populate in the list. Also on this page, the battery status can be viewed, as well as DC input voltage and the present interruption status, along with digital channel states if those are configured as well. We will now view the settings page in the Bullhorn Tools app by navigating to it in the menu. The settings page provides access to a number of configurations that can be made to your RM5 system. Tools are available such as firmware update and templates, and settings are available for individual analog or digital channels. First, we'll take a look at the templates configuration by selecting it from the settings page. In our case, a template has never been created for this device before, so we'll create a new one by pressing the Create Template button at the bottom of the screen. Templates provide an easy way to query all configurations of your device and save it to a single file that can be applied to the device at a later time. In our case, all configurations for the device are at their default values. I'll now give my template a name. In this case, I'll name it Test and press Save Template. Now I have a template available of all of the present state configurations of the ARM5 system which are their default values. As you change settings on your RM5 system from their default values, you can come back at a later time and create new templates that include those new values that are changed from the defaults. We'll now go back and look at some of the other configurations and settings that can be changed on the RM5 system. Now let's take a look at the analog channel settings for our RM5 system. To do so, I'm going to select channel three from the list. You'll notice that the default state for channel 3 has both AC and DC measurements disabled. I'm going to enable both AC and DC measurements now.
Under the AC settings, options are available such as display settings and AC alarm settings. Under the DC settings, options are available such as display settings, scaling settings, and DC alarm settings. In our case, I'm going to enable high alarm and low alarm for AC, as well as high alarm and low alarm for DC, and press the update button at the bottom of the screen. Now that the channel settings have been applied to the device for analog channel three, we'll go back to the readings page to see them reflected there. As the readings page loads, all channels are queried. And you'll see that now channel three on the analog side has both AC and DC measurements enabled, as well as high-low alarms. Now let's go back to the settings page and view the digital channel settings. I'm going to select digital channel one from the menu. In our case, you'll see that digital channel one is enabled. I'm also going to enable the high alarm and the low alarm and press the update button at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Finally, we'll take a look at the instant off settings from the main settings page. The instant off settings are available under the analog channels. In our case, instant off is presently enabled on channel three with a 100 millisecond off delay. I'm going to disable it on our device and press the update button. We will now review the reporting configuration available in Bullhorn Tools for your RM5 system by accessing it from the main menu. On the reporting page, you can access the reporting mode. Available options are off, repeat, and day of month. In our case, I'm going to keep it configured for repeat. The subsettings under the reporting mode are available as shown. In our case, start date is available. I'm going to set that to July 1st, 2023. With a start time of 10 a.m. For repeat interval, I'm going to maintain that at seven day and press the update button. Now we'll take a look at the interruption configuration in Bullhorn Tools by first navigating to the interruption page from the main menu. Interruption settings available for the RM5 system include interruption mode, output mode, on-off times, and cycle begins with. In our demonstration, I'm going to select interruption on for the interruption mode. I'll leave output mode as normally on. For the on-off times, I'm going to configure the on time for three seconds and the off time for one second and press OK. For cycle begins with, I'll also keep this as on. Save all configuration changes to the device by pressing the update button at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Now we'll take a look at the test message functionality of Bullhorn Tools by navigating to it from the main menu. To send a test message, press the button at the bottom of the screen. The test message function can be used to validate the connection of your cellular or satellite RM5 system in the field. Once the test message has been received, the status will update to indicate a transmission successful notification.